Tony, listen, go to Mila Magot, a suck fan shaw, a riven dolog, a go vila is a cool deal. So, cut a cossack too. Cosime God Dousish Gibbol, Tashia Deran, Eran, Blue Disca, and June Smith. God Lou Dousish Gibbol, the Chris Charlie Lennon. Murphy, the big man, August Step It Out Joe. Well, that. Shin Tony, my father who. Tunes, tunes, chas. Yeah, I guess come, come. Come Charlie Lennon, chas. Okay, I guess be you see a a young little bit there on an album, Shin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lovely. The first time I saw you was up in Milton Mulbey. Thanks, Johnny. Good man. A long time ago, now what I remarked, you were playing with a banjo player, I think, from London, Mick O'Connor. Oh, Mick O'Connor. Yeah, sure. And I've been playing with Mick a long time. And I haven't seen him over the last two two years in Milltown. Oh yeah, he. I think. Uh, well, no, my memory was he there this year. I don't think he was. He gets to some Milltowns and right. he gets to every All Ireland flag. All right, okay. So you you met you met oh, together we, in Cap or in Sligo? Oh, oh, we did. Yeah, we had tunes. I think we had our first tune um, together on the street in Listowel in 1972 on the square. And I think we've had a tune at most All Ireland Flas since, almost every All Ireland Flas since then. We get together. Right. You tend to like uh, the the medium or the environment of a, of a street, really. And your album you did with Mick was uh, yeah, doorways was, and windowsills. Grew, grew out of that. Yeah, right. I do. I like it. I don't know. There's an atmosphere out on the street, and there's people on the street. And I think those who want to listen to you stand and listen to you, and those who don't, okay. don't have to be there. Sure. And you know, and you get that special atmosphere. And 
as well as that, uh, if I'm inside in a pub, um, in which I might be from time to time, but I feel I'm missing the fla. I feel the fla's going on outside on right. the street. And, and when you're playing on the street and you're there for a few hours, uh, you see everybody. It's amazing the amount of people that walk up and down and that'll stop and listen and uh, come in and join you and uh, they'll leave and go off again and you know. Sure. So it's it's a it's a it's a lovely atmosphere. That's what I like about it. It is uh, assuming the weather is halfway decent, obviously. Assuming the weather is halfway yeah. decent. And how does yeah. that how, how do you, how do you come to ter terms then with recording an album in in a confined studio area? It must be uh, tough on you, is it? Uh, well, no, no, because like I mean, I play plenty inside as well. But uh, you'd often, you'd often say to yourself, you know, when you'd be playing on the street, and especially when you've had a weekend of it, and you get a few good long sessions, and especially when it comes to three or four o'clock uh, in the morning on the Saturday night or Sunday night, as the case might be, and you've good musicians around you, and you're really in form, and you'd say, God, I wish I could do that now. When All I'm right. Doing a, uh, you know, if I was trying to record a tune, you know, because you do, you do, it gets into your system and into your blood. And when you're at the FLA, you know, and you get a weekend like that, it gets into the blood and it's all music and nothing, nothing else matters. Yeah. Then, well, know. I suppose everyone remembers a session, a, a throbbing almighty powerful session they've seen. Yeah. And it's a shame you couldn't get that. Well, that's right. You can't, you can't capture that. And... I think when you go to a studio, you, you do the best you can, but people have to realise that a CD is just a moment in time. It's not a person's lifetime of playing. It's just a moment in time on how they were playing in that particular year or in that particular week or whatever. And it's, it's a reasonable example of what they do. Sure. Know? Lovely. That's about, that's well about it. Uh, you have fabulously gifted family as regards music, thinking of Bernadette yeah. and with the McGaviskies and, and Cochlin as well, yeah, yeah. and her album, solo album, her album with her husband now. Yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, Kieran. Kieran. Um, they, they love it, you know, they all love the music and uh, they all play. Sean, Sean uh, who lives beside us in Ashburn, plays accordion as well, and he was with the Nave Padraig Cayley band he was, from right. youth, and then Anya who's married up in County Antrim, married to Owen O'Brien. And she was a very good dancer and a very good fiddle player as well, but she has four little children now, so she doesn't get the same chance to, right. to get out and about. But she's still playing, she's still playing, plenty yeah. and playing loads. Yeah. She'll look big loyla, big and boy rock. Bye loyla, bye okay. she'll chat. Okay. <laughs> Tony, I'm really thrilled you came in. It's, it's been a while coming, so really, really happy to have you here. and Kiel Falsa. Nolig, Nolig, Brahe Hunnagut. Agus Livsa Homai. Livsa. Right. Mila 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 Mila